Well, what a game we have in store for you today. The hype has been building all week and the fans are pouring into the stadium. The tension palpable. We have all the action for you live on EA TV. Good evening and welcome to Alcor, welcome to the Albite Stadium, the venue for this one. My name is Derek Ray and sitting next to me here on the commentary gantry is the former Arsenal and West Ham United midfield man Stuart Robson. And it is a first test for these two countries here at the 2022 FIFA World Cup. It's Portugal facing Ghana. Well, thanks Derek, this is such an important game. Both sides will be desperate to start this group well. Let's hope we see some great football today. Here's how it looks for Portugal. Rui Patricio begins in goal. Rafael Guerrero starts with Joao Cancelo in the fullback positions. Bruno Fernandes plays alongside Ruben Neves in the centre of midfield. And leading the line today is Cristiano Ronaldo. And here's the Ghana starting 11. Well, in this shape, their two holding midfield players will be key today. If they can get on the ball and dictate the play, protect the two centre-backs, it will then allow the attacking players to show their creative quality. And the match is underway. That's a really good authoritative tackle. Throw in here. Very alert defending to put a stop to the chance. Given his magnificent form, then there's every reason to believe that Cristiano Ronaldo will make an impact here. Well, it's his ability with the ball at his feet that makes him such a good player. He can go past defenders with ease, he can play in tight areas, and he has that bit of trickery as well. I'm really looking forward to seeing him play today. And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. Beautifully disguised ball. Well, nothing comes of it in the end because the flag has gone up, Stuart. Well, he knew where the space was, but he's just been too eager, and that's why he's offside. Good tackle. Sulemana. Well, goodness me, into the goalkeeper's grateful grasp. Well, doesn't have to do it on his own. He's in behind. Really classy goalkeeping. Offside, not that anyone knew. Kamaldin Suremana. Firing it towards goal. That's a routine take. A very good tackle. 
chance to do damage. It might be on for them. And just narrowly wide. Well, it's a good effort from that range, but I think the keeper had it covered. the ball away Idrisu Baba spot on with that tackle now well, miscontrolling the ball and a goal kick to come what about the opportunity from earlier let's have another look now shall we And he has options available. But they took care of the situation defensively. Ayew. Plenty of running room in the wide position. And threading it forward. Still alive. And second time around, he scores. But the keeper left to wonder what his defenders were doing well here we can see it again normally I'm the first to point the finger at a goalkeeper but I think it's a good initial save I'm not sure he could have done much more just a bit unfortunate really that it dropped to an opponent So back underway, having conceded, let's find out if Portugal can flick a switch and come up with a goal of their own. The tackle completely mistimed, and you would expect a booking under the circumstances. Well, the referee not messing about, he's cautioned him. Well, it had to be a yellow card, and he knew it was coming. Ronaldo and failed to keep himself onside unfortunately well Portugal had more of the possession as you can see but their attacking play hasn't been good enough so far there's been too many safe passes and no real penetration they certainly need to up the tempo if they're going to get back into this one well can they regain possession first and be more creative with the ball can't miss surely quite simply an opportunity wasted easy for the keeper and a fine tackle on the offensive. Effective pressure to regain possession. So one minute of stoppage time. That's what the officials have said. Now the managers will now deliver their half-time team talks. We're at the end of 45 minutes in this game. Well, how often do we say this? Cristiano Ronaldo has struggled to get into the game, not really making much of an impact, Stuart. Well, as you can see, he just hasn't had enough touches in the key areas, and that's one of the reasons they're losing this game at the moment. So back underway here, into the second half. This is looking threatening. Oh, big chance! Well, the keeper reacted magnificently. Andre Ayew. Mohamed Kudus. Ronaldo. This could square the game. Exactly what has transpired. Now that could be a massive turning point, and momentum is with them. 
Well, here's the replay. Watch how he goes past his man with such ease, and it's just a change of pace. And then through on goal, he just goes for power and smashes it past the keeper. There's no stopping that. What a great finish. So back underway, they've levelled it at 1-1 here. And can they exploit the space out wide? Can he put them in front? Yes is the emphatic answer. And you have to say it was on the cards. take another look and it's a very good goal and they deserve it you have to say they've been excellent goal. so there we have it 2-1 to number 7 Cristiano Ronaldo and we saw the situation developing And they trouble the opposition this time. Well, didn't go as a plan in the end. Silva. And giving the ball away. Plenty of support here. Kudus. And it's with Andre Ayu. Options in the centre. Well, they would have been disappointed had he spilled that one. Silva. Well, Portugal might be onto something. Oh, this is looking promising. Really good diving save. Now sending it in. Well, they couldn't take advantage of the chance. Just 20 minutes remaining now. Having won the ball back, they might be able to profit. Now well, doesn't get away with it. Free kick given. Amarte. And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. Can they do something positive on the counter-attack? No foul play, says the referee. And perhaps a bit fortunate not to be shown the yellow card. Different story next time, no doubt. Just 15 minutes remaining. A very effective challenge put in. An alert piece of defending. Ronaldo. Kamaldin Suleimana. And room now out on the wing. And giving the ball away. And he's in. Really important tackle. Well, there's still scope for late drama here. Five minutes left. And just one goal between the sides. Surimana. Oh, the threat is there. 
He's missed the chance, and they're still behind, Stuart. Well, you always hope for one more big chance in a game, and that was it. Not sure they'll get another now. Bernardo Silva. A very good tackle. And the electronic board delivers the news. Two minutes of stoppage time. Might be a chance here. Defending of the highest class to stop him. And the final whistle here. A real sense of feel good in the Portuguese camp on the back of this victory, Stuart. Well, Derek, they didn't dominate the game by any means today, but overall they had the better of the chances and just about deserved their win. Well, there's a reason why we're highlighting Cristiano Ronaldo. He's been very creative out there, Stuart. Well, he looked a top-class player today. Every time he touched the ball, he was a threat, and he worked so hard for the team as well. What a good display that was.